There it is. We are live. This is Aaron Parker, and I'm so excited to have a combo. We have a combo leadership spotlight today with two of the top leaders, not just within the power team, but with the entire company. We have 50K affiliate Ron Deering in the house and 25K affiliate Carlos Martinez. And part of the reason why, in case you're wondering why we're doing a, a combo, is because Ron has sponsored Carlos. And I asked him if they'd like to come in together to do this training, this celebration. They said absolutely. So that's why we're doing that. Um, for those of you that are new, want to welcome you. Power team, what's up, everybody? Make some noise. Uh, do me a huge favor and hit like on this video on YouTube. You're watching this on YouTube, so hit like. We are also streaming live, so the chat is going, and we can see you guys in the chat box, so feel free to engage with us in the chat. If you're watching the recording, then you can drop comments down below, so drop a comment if you're watching the replay. Let us know you're here, you're excited, you're ready, and what we're going to be doing here on this spotlight is you're going to be learning from these two incredible individuals. They are leaders. They are creating tremendous success, not just for themselves, but for their team. And I know that every person watching this is going to get some incredible tips, strategies, and value on really just learning more about them and what they have done to be able to create the results that they have created. So I see in the chat, we've got uh, Peggy's in the house. Aaron is here. Stacy, Yvonne, Troy, Tia. Frank, awesome. Welcome, 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 everyone. So first, we want to just quickly get a little bit more information about both of you for those of you that, that don't know you, and then we're going to dive into some, uh, to some, you know, some strategy and learn from you guys what you've done and how you've created this tremendous success with My Daily Choice and HempWorks, of course. So first up, we're going to jump over to Carlos Martinez. Carlos, please take a minute, share with everybody uh, that don't know you, where you're from, and you know, just tell us who you are. Awesome. Aaron, thank you so much for being here. It's an honor and a blessing to be working uh, with you in the trenches and how you're leading the team. You and Kathy are just amazing, amazing leaders. An honor and a blessing also to be here with the amazing Ron Deering and then everyone here in our family, our HempWorks family. So folks, for those of you that don't know me, real briefly, I'll keep it real simple. Uh, you know, I live in Chicago. Uh, my, name, well, my name is Carlos Martinez. I live in Chicago. I'm a single dad of two beautiful daughters. My oldest one is 24. The, the youngest one is 15. And we're dog lovers in this house. You know, so we have uh, four little Shih Tzus that are over there napping. And probably after this, they're going to want their little treat. And then they're going to want to go for a walk and stuff like that. So uh, definitely, uh, you know, I, I come from the corporate world, did 29 years in what's called corporate logistics. And I just didn't want to work for anyone else, right? Just like, you know, I was get, getting tired of, you know, uh, really making someone else rich. Because in this life, Aaron, it really comes down to this, right? You're either making, you're either building someone else's dreams and you're, or you're building your own. And if you call someone else boss, guess what? You are building their dreams. No matter how hard you work, no matter how great your numbers look and how you outperform everybody else, everyone else, if you're lucky enough to get a raise, you all get the same raise. And really what I hated the most was, you know, when my when one of my kids when my kids school would call, you know, saying that, hey, you know, your daughter has an earache and I couldn't go leave work. Right. I couldn't leave work because, uh, you know what, I, I had a project I was working on. So my kid had to be sitting there in the school office with an earache when I should be going to take her to the doctor to go check out her ear, that kind of stuff. You know, so those are those kind of things like, you know, the reason I, I got into hemp works is because of the fact that I wanted time freedom more than anything else, right? The, the, the time to, to do what I want to do, you know, to do, to do the things that I love to do. And this business has allowed me to do that. So I'm very grateful to you, to Rob, you know, to, to Robert Hollis, to uh, Ron Deering, and to our amazing owners, Josh and Zenezuego. So thank you so much. That's just a little bit about me. Thank you, Aaron. Awesome, Carlos. We're going to jump back over to you in a second. Ron, same question. For those that don't know who you are, give us a quick background, please, sir. All right. Well, thank you again, Aaron, for having us on here. Um, and, and really, you know, the hierarchy is kind of Aaron. I've known Aaron for quite a few years online, and he reached out to me, and I got involved and uh, then reached out to Carlos. So it's kind of like the 100K, 50K, 25K trio here. Um, I've been I've been in and out of network marketing for the last 40 years. Started actually back in uh, during my military time, and uh, needing to supplement my income. And somebody introduced me to a 
business concept that went like this. If you help a lot of people get what they want, you can have what you want. And I thought, wow, that's so different than the military and corporate and all these other things that I just got excited and passionate about it. And even though I had a long corporate career uh, in, in the uh, military intelligence world, uh, I always was looking for that way to start my own business, that way to be involved with uh, entrepreneurship and network marketing. And I've had some great success, six-figure incomes, and I've had some amazing failures along the way. And a lot of that was due to the fact that I was comfortable. I was comfortable because I had a good job. I already had a six-figure income job, and I you know, drove nice cars and had a big house and did all that stuff. So there wasn't an urgency. And it wasn't until that became an urgency, and I got involved with HempWorks and saw what we could do and how many people's lives we could impact that things really changed. And so for me, this is an amazing journey. I'm 66 years old and having a the ball of my life. And uh, Robert, I, I, Aaron, I just can't thank you and Kathy enough. It is it has just been an amazing ride so far in, in nine months. So thank you so much. I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to dive in. Uh, by the way, for everyone who's watching, please realize and understand right now, this is a huge deal. All right, this is a massive celebration as part of why we're doing this. Because Ron Deering just hit the rank of 50K affiliate. That's over $50,000 in sales in one month in his organization. And Carlos hit the rank of 25K affiliate, $25,000 in sales in one month in his organization. This is a really big deal. You wanna pay attention, you wanna take notes, and listen to what these two gentlemen are going to be sharing with you in this video because success leaves clues. I have been in the trenches working with them with this business now for the last nine months. And I want everyone to have this seed planted in their mind right now that when we joined, the three of us, we joined with no team. We joined brand new, just like you. And we built this business together, working hard, doing certain things to create the success. And I want you to realize that if they can do it, if we can do it, you can do it too. So just believe that and know that right up front. All right. So first of all, Ron, I want everyone to know, and I'm going to ask this to Carlos as well, because everyone's asking, how do I sponsor a Ron? How do I sponsor a Carlos? So let's talk about that quickly. What was it exactly that I did when you got started. What was it that I that I said that I did that compelled you to join? And everyone's going to be listening to this so they can learn how they could sponsor a Ron Deering. And I just want to say this, that I've been in the industry 20 years. Ron has been in the industry for 40 years. The guy has probably made way more money than I could ever dream of. And Ron has been very successful. But I didn't prejudge him. I reached out anyway. And so, Ron, talk to us. What, what did I do? What got you to get started? Uh, chills. That's what did it. Chills. Um, it, it's, and, and here's, here's what I'll tell you. Um, and I joked about this with my, my wife and the team. You know, I got to cut the hair off my arms because I'm in a perpetual state of having chills with people. But the reality is it wasn't what you said. It was how you said it. It was the passion. It was the vision. You know, we, so many times we believe that we've got to have the, the, the magic script. We have to have the magic formula. We got to have exactly, you know, how to handle every objection and all these things. And the reality is, is for me, it was, and it always has been, and, and all of the people that I can tell you that over the years I've brought in, it's because of the passion and, and the vision that I've had. And I saw that in you. I, when you reached out to me and were launching your business between you and Robert Hollis and Josh and Jenna, I saw this field leadership that had an amazing passion and an amazing vision that I just couldn't resist jumping on board. In fact, like you said, I, I pre-enrolled and there was nobody on my team. I didn't care. I watched the hour long video an hour later I signed up. Boom, I was ready to go. Now, saw, which video was that? That was a video in the pre-enrollee back office with Josh and Jenna. It's an hour and, and, I, and I like to dissect these little things because I know what people are thinking. So when you when you guys say something, I'm gonna my, I might jump in because I know that people are gonna be asking. Well, wait, I heard video. What video was it? So the video Ron watched. To be clear, and by the way, I love something you just said too. Is you had no one in your team. 
So one of the brilliant aspects and one of the uh, ways that uh, you know our team explodes is because of the marketing system. All of you should be familiar with that, how we can actually help enroll people under our prospects before they even join. And it, it, it's just magical because people sign up like crazy when they see that happening. Ron was a man of action. He had nobody under him. And I wanted to hit that because I know that some people have said, well, how do I get my prospects to join if they don't have anyone under them? I'm like, <laughs> they don't need anyone under them. That just provides a little extra fire, a little extra boost, maybe for those who are on the fence. But when the right person comes along, they don't need anyone under them. They're going to see it. They're going to sign up. And the video that Ron watched that was like, boom, I'm in, was as soon as your pre-enrollee pre-enrolls on your capture page, there's a video in their back office, not in your back office, in the pre-enrollee back office. It's actually the same video that Robert Hollis uses. It's a video of Josh and Jenna. Ron watched it. Boom. He signed up. So thank you, Ron. I appreciate that so much. Anything else to add on that? Well, and, and the key was there. Um, how long did after I called you and talked to you, how long did we talk? And that's a it's a kind of a trick question because I didn't call him and we didn't talk. Right. I looked at the system. I looked at the video. I saw what was going on. I knew his passion. I knew what he was doing. I saw the owners and boom, it was a no brainer for me. So I hope that helps. I think it helps tremendously. Who just got some value from that? If that helped you, drop some comments, let us know. Uh, Mr. Carlos Martinez, same question for you. What was it that compelled you? Uh, what was it Ron said or did that got you to get started? All right, so so th th we got a little funny story here. So I've known I've known Ron for like three years. You know, I was I've been in the network marketing space, kind of like you, Aaron, a little bit more than twenty years. Massive failure, right? Massive failure, and and that, this is so HempWorks is the fifteenth fifteenth different network marketing company that I've been a part of. Okay, and the fourteen before that, you know, number fourteen, I had some kind of success, but it went out of business, kind of thing. You know, so all of a sudden, I found myself without any kind of, you know, you know, it just closed up, you know, in June of last year. And Ron, he was always my IT guy. All right. He was always my IT guy. I, I would go to him to help me set up my click funnels and my blog and that other, other kind of stuff. But, you know, I was not using any of that stuff. I mean, it, it, was, it was that kind of thing where I was more passionate about the product. So when Ron approached me, because he had approached me about other businesses before, and I wasn't really interested, but when he approached me about CBD oil, right away like okay ron i'll take a look at this you know some of the other stuff that you were you know you know trying to introduce me to it just didn't really catch my eye it wasn't my thing you know uh, i loved ron i would have joined them but it had been another product but he told me about cbd oil now i was already taking cbd oil from some hemp farm in in colorado you know so i, I i've already believed in the benefits so i started to do my research on our hemp work cbd oil i'm like wow I saw all the documentation, the third party documentation in the back office. I'm like, this is some really good stuff. And they're actually sharing their documentation in the back office, you know, and, and they do third party testing. So that like, okay, this is great. And then, and then all of a sudden I found, I, I saw that video, right? I saw the video with Robert Hollis, the same video that, uh, that Ron, you were just talking about with Ron, Robert Hollis is in there. Okay. You got Josh and Jenna. I'm like, wait a second. Robert Hollis is already, you know, he's number 13 all-time earner, right, in the network marketing space. He was already happily retired, doesn't need to work, a, you know, a day the rest of his life. He came out of retirement to join this business. He must see something really special, right? And I said, Ron, where do I sign up? And I ended up signing up and I came in full force at the executive level right away because I wanted to make sure that I did not miss out on any commissions. I didn't want any commissions to go to, you know, the, the corporate or anybody else. I wanted to keep all the commissions for myself because, hey, if I'm going to work this thing and go hard at it, right, I want to come in at the top level. And I feel that coming in at the top level is what has definitely helped me get 5K, 10K, 25K because had I not, and I come in at the builder or whatever level, it wouldn't have happened. But definitely, 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 that is my story. And Ron, where do I sign up? And we've been running ever since then, you know, with this amazing, amazing product because we, it, I just see how this CBD oil is just transforming lives. And that documentation and everything 
proves it. Just proves it. Just, I mean, just from different people, like to like your Christopher Livingston, right? You, you talk about Christopher Livingston, who was, you know, uh, uh, addicted to alcohol and substance abuse and depression and stuff like that. And he'll tell you right from his mouth, CBD oil saved my life, especially the hemp work CBD oil. And it's this is what this is about. It's about changing lives, Eric, because we're doing a good thing, helping so many people with so many things. And how can you not be passionate about it? You know, and that's what just that's what that's what gets me up every day. That's what motivates me, and that's why I am here to stay forever. I love it, Carlos. Don't go anywhere because I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to you here in a second. Um, one thing I'm noticing as well from both of these gentlemen is I knew Ron. This was what you would call warm market. We had never worked together like we are now, but we were connected. We were friends on Facebook. Ron and Carlos knew each other. So what can we all learn from this? Don't be afraid to ask people you know. Even the people who you think are already successful, they're already doing something else, you don't think they're going to do it, ask them anyway. Because if somebody else had asked Ron, he'd be signed up with someone else. If someone else had asked Carlos, Carlos would have signed up with someone else. So don't be afraid to ask and talk to everyone you know. All right. So now we're going to kind of dig deep here. And I want to know, Carlos, because a lot of people watching this, they're brand new, right? They, they see 25K, they see 50K. Wow. But it's like, okay, how did you go 5K? Because when people ask me, Aaron, you're 100K, you're making six figures. I want to do that too. How do I go 100K? I'm like, well, we got to get you to 5K first. So that's the first major goal, the first major step. And it's a big step for a lot of people. So I want to know, Carlos, what did you do? Let's go back when you were brand new for everyone who's watching who's new and they want to get into action. They want to get results. They want to start building that momentum to get to 5K. What did you do exactly? Talk to us. Awesome. Awesome, Aaron. Yeah. So, so here's the thing, Aaron. I mean, you've got so much training in the MDC Power Team, right? So when people come in, right, people come in, there is so much information there. And, and really, you lay it out really nice. So you, so you got your fast start training, and there's like the, the 10 steps to success, right? And once once I was already passionate about the product, I feel, who can I tell about? Because that's where it starts. I mean, it starts right here in your heart. Like, wow, this is amazing stuff. I got to, this is not about me. I got to get out of my comfort zone and be enthusiastic and reach out to as many people as I can. And that's what I did, right? So I started, you know, with my warm market, you know, started talking to friends and family, started talking to people that I knew. And, and Aaron, just so you know, people may think, well, Carlos, did you have a big email list when you came over? No, I had an email list of zero, nothing. I had a zero email list, right? I had no, no, like no brand online. I didn't start doing my first Facebook lives until I joined this company in June. Those are my very first ones. You know, people look at them like, Carlos, you've been doing Facebook lives for a long time. No, go back to May of 2018 and you won't see any lies. Started in June, towards the end of June, and you'll see them. But what I did was I just went all out to talk to as many people as I can. All right. You know, whether leading with the product or leading with the opportunity, but I try to reach out and just follow the scripts that you have. Right. You have so many scripts back there. I just wanted to reach out to many people as I can see if they're open to take a look at this awesome opportunity. Some didn't respond. Some did. Right. And guess what I did? I just followed up my objective. My objective from the very get go was to sign up for in that month. I wanted to get four. And not only that, help those four get there for because that's where you build because if you just all you do is just recruit 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 you know don't get me wrong recruiting is very important but what's even more important if you want to rank advance to those next ranks get your four and help those four get there for and teach them to do the same thing because when you start building deep right when you start building deep that's what happens there and all of a sudden like within my first 10 days because i started helping my people get there for my first 10 days i hit the 5k rank Within my first, oh man, exactly, Aaron, that's exactly, that is the key. Get your four every single month and help them duplicate, okay? That's the blueprint to the super affiliate. Get four every single month and help them duplicate. I hit the 5K rank with the help of my team within the first 10 days. I hit the 10K rank within my first 17 days. So I joined on June 10th of 2018. By June 27th, I was already the 10K rank and I've never looked back. 
you know. And now yeah. I'm at the 25k rank, but it happens by getting your four every single month, at least four, and help those four get their four. And that's how you rank advance. Wow, who's getting value? Who loves it? So he talked to everyone he knows. And this is this is one of the biggest keys to success in this industry is don't be afraid to talk to everyone. And he took action fast. He, he just went all out. Uh, this, by the way, I'm sure many of you have seen this. This is our blueprint to super affiliate. And it's very simple. It's just what Carlos said. It's get your four, your first month, and help your four get their four. But each month, you keep getting your four. You do that and help everyone on your team get their four, you're going to go to the top. That's what we teach. That's what we duplicate. It's so simple, but it starts with you. So, um, Carlos, thank you. I love it. Great value. And Ron, and by the way, for anyone who has questions for these two gentlemen, we're going to do that in a little bit. So any questions you guys have, just hold on to them. Mr. Ron Deering, same question for you, sir. Well, I, you know, I don't know how I follow that. Uh, he he, he kind of nailed it. And, and in fact, the, in the month of June, um, he made it in 17 days, and it took me two more days to get to 10K, so he actually beat me. I don't know how that pyramid thing works, but it doesn't sound like it works like that. That's for sure. He beat me to it, right? Um, he, here's, the, here's the only thing that I, I can tell you is that to kind of add on to what Carlos said is obviously – you, you work with your team. You bring on new people and so forth, so you've got to get a team. How do you do that? You say as little as possible to as many as possible. You just, you don't, when you get up in the morning, you make your decision that I'm going to fall in love with the process. And I'm going to, you, and you know what I find over the years, Aaron, and so many people do is they complicate something that's very simple. Doesn't mean it's not hard work. Doesn't mean you've not got to do the work. You've got to put in the action. You've got to put in the time, but it's not difficult. It's simple. We've got scripts out there. We've got all kinds of training and the power team and the vision team and all over the place. But people get, you know, they get paralysis of analysis because they got to know everything. They feel like they've got to be involved with you know, so many different squirrels and so many different things going on. And the reality is, is that you spend your day saying as little as you can to as many as you can, reaching out and getting as many exposures out there, people in front of your uh, videos and people in uh, pre-enrolled as you can. If you can do that, you can move fast. You know, but in the, in, the, in the reality of it is you just need to be consistent. The speed is great, but we have people on our team that took six months to get to 5K and 10K. That's awesome because that's the norm, right? So it's the consistency and the commitment to the business. You're committed to the business. You're committed to what you, the decision you've made to do this business despite and until. And I think if you take on that, those two words, post them anywhere you can that I'm going to do this business despite whatever comes about until I have the success I know I'm going to have and be consistent. Talk to as, as many as you can, say as little as you can to as many as you can, and you'll have that success. And now here we are. Carlos at 25K, I'm at 50K. We're both hitting for 250 and 500K by the convention. So it's it's just about doing the work, taking the time and putting in the action. So. I love it. I love it. And, you know, guys, and, and uh, Lynn just put that in the chat here. Say as little as possible to as many as possible. You guys catch that? Such a subtle, simple thing that we can all write down, take that as a note, say as little as possible to as many as possible. And 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 two other things on what Ron said, consistency. Probably one of the, the biggest things that people miss in this business is they'll start and then they stop. And they start and then they stop. And they wonder why they're not growing their business, why they're not enrolling people, why they're not building their momentum is because they stop. And one thing that I truly believe in this business is if you take your foot off the gas, I love this analogy, if you take your foot off the gas, you're actually hitting the brakes. You catch me on that. If you take your foot off the gas for even a day, and some of you are like, oh my gosh, I can't even take a day off. Yeah, you can take a day off. Okay, no problem. But you see what I'm saying? Most people will take two, three, four, five days a week off. They're like, oh, I'll get to it next week. I'll go back to building next week. 
When you take your foot off the gas, you literally are slamming on the brakes. It's like pulling the emergency brake. And then when you get going again, it's like you're starting all over. So consistency is so important. And I also love what Ron said about it's not always, listen, we love speed. Okay. You guys know one of my mottos, success loves speed, which is true. Because when you go fast, success seems to just become easier. But I will also say this to piggyback on what Ron said. The, the, the double-edged sword with that is that if people don't have success fast, they think they're failing. And that is, couldn't be furthest from the truth. And if people look at someone else and say, oh, he or she did it so fast and you know, I'm still not there, people get discouraged and, and they think they're failing. And we're here to tell you that is not true. We just had Terrence Young who hit 5K in eight months. And I was so happy and I was celebrating him hitting 5K in eight months as if it took him eight days because he didn't quit because he still made it. And so realize that it's not, doesn't matter how fast you get there. I always say this, the only reason, there's one reason, only one, one reason why you won't make it. And that's if you stop, if you quit, that's it. If you keep going, keep learning, keep putting in the work, you will get there just like us. So um, I'm going to kind of go a little bit off here, but then we'll come back around. Ron, uh, you know, I really want to, you know, we'll just, let, let's keep the, Let's keep this going. Um, oh, that was weird. Video popped up on my Facebook and started playing. Um, so what I'd like to do quickly is have you share just, I want you guys to just go a little bit deeper on if there's one specific thing, whether it's a script or it's uh, what you say or what your process is, what is one simple thing that either you did in the very beginning or that you're doing now that is helping you to continue to pre-enroll and enroll new people? What would that be, Ron? You go first. Wow. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's any different than kind of what I just said. Um, it's just being consistent. Um, I'm not a big recruiter. I don't hit the, you know, and, and again, it's, it's not because I can't, because I can't. But I'm not one that's going to hit 60, 70 people every single month. I would rather hit five, you know, I, I've, I've got six or seven this month. Um, I, I don't mind having small numbers because I take the time with those people. Exactly. I take the time with those people. And I think this is the most important thing. If I could pass on to anybody building this business is you need to develop a community and a culture that allows anybody on your team and in your family to feel like they are a part of it. In other words, you know, you're going to have people, we, we were on a training not long ago and an individual was asked, how much would it take for you to change your financial life? And we all thought there was going to be $500,000. It was $250. That person needs to feel comfortable in your community just because they don't want to get to 5k. They need, because they're contributing just as much. So I'd rather have a team of a thousand or 1500 people with a lot of people doing a little and helping them get to their goals. And so for me, it's been about consistency, commitment, spending time with the team, working with the team. And Aaron, you're, you're a genius and, a, and a amazing at this um, because it, it, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, you don't do this on your own. This is all about you building a community. McDonald's isn't the huge corporation that it is because of one franchise. It's because of thousands of franchises out there all working together to make that, you know, community what it is. So, you know, we, we think that people don't, they live in a different universe and they don't. We think that people need to learn all these different things and they do. Um, but the consistency and commitment to the process is the most important thing I could pass on to you. Stay committed, stay committed to the process. Don't get caught up in the results and continue to work and push forward. And you're going to have that success at whatever that time is, whatever that time is. So I love I it. That helps. I love it. And, and, and Carlos, for you, I'm going to go a little bit different here uh, because you're sponsored by Ron. So you guys are like tag teaming. And so here's a question, more of a leadership question. And this is going to be, what is it that you guys do 
to help your team? I mean, obviously we could go for an hour just on this one question, so we'll keep it simple. But what is the one or two things that you do? Because you guys not only have hit 5K, 10K, you're hitting these ranks, you are helping people in your team hit 5K and 10K. So what are some things that you've done to be able to duplicate people hitting rank in your team? Great question, Aaron. So thank you so uh, so much. And I'm going to piggyback on on uh, Ron's uh, answer in just a little bit, but specifically, you know, and, and this is what one of the things that Ron taught me. You teach, you know, as well as what Robert teaches. Work on you. Work on you, because the biggest, you know, the the biggest obstacle that people have is what's in here. All right, it's what's in here. So we start, we we work with them on mindset training, you know. So for example, whether it's reading the 10x 10x rule, right? Or reading the I am statements, or reading Robert Hollis's book, so on and so forth. So we always get them to work on their mindset more than anything else. That is the first thing that we do, right? You got to work on your mindset because when the going gets tough, and it will, when you fail some of the days, and you will, because this is part of the program, right? Fail your way to success, right? It, it, you know, the, the one common link between all massively successful people or even just moderately successful people, the one common link is struggle, massive struggle, right? No one gets to the top. It's kind of like, Aaron, it's like your shirt says, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. It's simple as that. So when the struggle comes and it will, I always tell people, the struggle's gonna come. The struggle is real. How do you get past that? right? How do you get past that? That's where the mindset training comes. So we work on the mindset, okay? But then the other thing that we do with our team is, um, as you as you taught us, Aaron, as well, we love to do uh, uh, live launches, right? We love to launch their business. We get down to, hey, what is, you know, when someone comes on board, we like to talk to them about, why are you doing this, right? What is this about? This is more than just about money, right? Why are you doing this? We, we got to get them down to a purpose because when that going gets tough, and again, it will get tough, that why, that strong why that people just kind of think is cliche is going to get them past. So for, you know, Aaron, for you, right? I know how much you love your wife and your kids, right? And I know you have the struggle that you went through financially not too long ago. Well, you being, you know, the, the, the main provider for your family, you're like, I got to provide for my family, right? Now you have an ultimate goal of becoming a millionaire in network marketing, right? But there's a, your why, what pushes you and drives you is your family and your love for your family and then your goals, right? What you want to achieve. So the same thing. So we get them focused on their why. That's super, so super duper important to get people to focus on what that is and pin it somewhere on your computer, on your refrigerator, whatever, so that you're reminded daily, right? Because remember, it works here. Now, then we get into keeping things simple, right? Ron and you both touched on this, right? And we talked about saying as little as possible to as many people as possible per day. And what I have found to be so effective is that, and, and I'm going to say which video it is, right? It's the little five-minute news clip, okay? Little five-minute, I, I think it's on Fox News in North Carolina where Chris Livingston is on, there's a there's a lady at the beginning, I think she was in the military at one point, and she's got through a lot of anxiety, and you know the, the, the pharmaceuticals just weren't working for her, and you know, our, our product, the, the C, our, our CBD oil, right, is in the news, and then it goes to Christopher, our own Christopher Livingston is in there as well. Well, guess what? I teach people, right? We teach our team, share this five-minute video. See who's open to watch this five-minute video, right? And after they've watched it, that's the one right there. That is the one. That's the exact video. Exactly, right? Show, share this simple five-minute video. Who does not have five times to, uh, five minutes to watch a video? Watch this impactful video. And then, okay, guess what? As soon as they're done, you say, hey, well, you're going to watch it now, Mr. and Mrs. Customer? You're going to watch Okay, great. Can I call you back in about seven or eight minutes? This is something that Lily Romero taught me, the awesome Lily, right? Can I call you back in seven or eight minutes? Okay, great. And now you get in touch with them and you ask them, what did you like best about the video? What did you like best about the video? Okay, great. Oh, great. No, do you, do you see yourself more as a customer or as a business owner promoting this product or both? Well, they'll kind of answer you. And then, and then if they say that they're not interested or no, well, that's okay. Well, guess what? Um, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Custer, you know, if this is not for you, that's okay. But do you know anybody that suffers from uh, a, a chronic or from pain, from anxiety, from depression? Because I have free samples to give them. What? You have free samples? Well, why didn't you tell me that? 
Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I thought you weren't interested. Yeah, I've got free samples. You know what? If you pay a small shipping fee, I'll be glad to send you free samples. And that's it. They're on board. They try a seven-day sample size, and that's it. Just with that five-minute video, for get someone, again, say as little as possible to as many as possible. And that little five-minute video is very impactful. I lead now with that video more than anything else, and I'm getting a lot of people like, no, I'm not interested. Well, that's okay. I go for the referral. And I, I said, because the reason I'm asking for referrals is because I got free samples to give them. And all of a sudden they say, well, wait a second, you got free samples? Well, yeah. Didn't I mention it? Yeah, I've got free samples to give you. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, well, I'll take a free sample. Well, absolutely. Here's my link. But in the meantime, do you still know anybody else that may be interested in this? And that's it. You get a referral just from that little five minute, that five minute video. Super, super impactful. Say as little as possible to as many as possible. And you know what? Let the video do the talk. And I tell people, do not do not think you have to know the compensation plan. Do not think you have to know anything about the product. Share the video. Let the video do the talking. And that is it. Keep it simple. Keep it simple and talk to as many as you can. Who's getting value? If you just got some value, drop some comments. And by the way, you're on YouTube. Hit like, hit that little thumbs up on this video on YouTube. And the video that Carlos just mentioned, which I put up on the screen, I put that video in the comments, in the chat, um, here where you're watching this, so you can go check that out. I love it. Incredible value. I'm going to give you guys a curveball because I have a question I didn't, um, you know, let you know about. But I think this is really it just kind of hit me. You know, this is one of those things that some people have different feelings on. And it is this idea. And Carlos, I'm going to come to you first that we we want to make multiple streams of income and we all want to make money doing lots of different things. And I'm going to give you my personal, I'm going, to, I'm going to go first. I'm going to give you my personal thing on this because I know that there are marketers out there and a lot of people watching this maybe who are on our team, maybe even some people not on our team. And they're like, well, I want, I want to make money doing lots of different things. I can tell you this. I've done both. I've been in this industry for 20 years. And in the points in my life where I was doing multiple things, I made little to no money doing a lot of things few hundred bucks here, a few hundred bucks here. No big money, ever. It wasn't until I was all in, laser focused, as they say, putting all your eggs in one basket until I started making six figures. I mean, I'm hit with stuff all the time. Aaron, make money doing this. Aaron, make money doing that. You could promote this, you could sell this. And my response is always the same. I am laser focused on helping my team have success I have no time to do anything else. Well, Aaron, don't you want to diversify? Don't you want to make more money doing other things? No, because I'm going to become a millionaire doing one thing. And so that's just, again, my opinion. Carlos and Ron, I know you guys are focused. And so that's why I wanted to hit you with that question as well. Uh, Carlos, what are your thoughts? Uh, you know, Aaron, I, I absolutely agree with you. And, and I've done a Facebook Live or two about, you know, the importance of focus because, you know, yeah, all the other stuff is more very important, right? Your mindset, your consistency, and stuff like that. You know, but but if you're not focused on one thing, right? If you're not all in, so like you know what? No matter what, do or die, right? I am gonna make this thing happen, and you don't give up, okay? It, to me, it has made all the difference because I, Aaron, I used to be that guy. I used to be that guy, you know, for many many years, suffering from shiny ball syndrome, okay? all the time you know you know what because because of the fact that we're not right we're not successful as, as quickly as we would like so what do we do right we get into a, a new business that yeah I, I can be excited about this and then we don't have success as quickly as we would like we get discouraged then guess what we start you know we're, we're on facebook or maybe we're on youtube or we're on a google search or whatever and then all of a sudden these little things pop up oh maybe i can make money doing this maybe i can make money doing that and i'm trust me i did that for years and made next to that's why I, you know what Aaron? that's why i was in corporate america for 29 years all right why why it wasn't a short you know corporate career because i was focused on two three four different things at the same time and none of it worked it all changed, right? If you were to ask me, well, Carlos, what is like the number one reason, one of the top reasons why I've been so successful with Hempworks? Definitely the community, definitely the training, definitely, you know, 
taken massive action. But I promise you that if I were not focused, I would not be a 25K today. I probably, I probably would have been, I probably would have had, you know, maybe a 2,500, you know, K or something like that. But I've never, I've never, I would not have made the income that I'm making now. I definitely would not have had the time to help my team, right? Because if you were doing all those other things, how can you possibly have time for family and working out and doing whatever it is that you do when, when you're so focused on so many things? For folks, you know, as Aaron said, Focus on one thing. Yeah, if you've got a full time job, you got to work. Hey, we're not talking about that, right? You've got to put, you've got to put food on the table. You've got to pay the rent, the mortgage. Yeah, that's totally fine. We're not telling you to leave your job. We're talking about additional side business, a side hustle that you're doing. Okay, do your best to focus on just one. Be laser focused. Be all in. And you know what? I love the stories. Of like your Don Ludeman Rodarte, your Lily Romero, you know the, the other gentleman that you just mentioned right now uh, that, that that took him eight months. I mean, those are the real heroes, right? Yeah. So Aaron, you came in, you had a lot of success quickly. I did the same thing. Ron did the same thing. But the real heroes are the people that are like just focused. They're in the trenches every single day. They're consistent, and this is their this is what they do. This is their main and only side hustle. And guess what? When they achieve ranks. Right, man, I get so super pumped up. It's like you're right. It doesn't. It doesn't matter that it took them five months, six months, eight months, a year. I mean, I've heard a story. Uh, I can't. Uh, Sonia Line, right? Who's now I think a 250k or 500k affiliate. It took her two years to hit 5k. Wow. Two years to hit 5k. Can you imagine has she given up? Would she be? And, and she'll say it herself that she's making silly money. She's making like crazy money right now. Hey, just to be real, she's a 500K right now? Yes. So just so you know, the average 500K, I mean, she's probably making, we'll just say over 50,000 a month. Easy. Easy. So two years to hit 5K, most people would have quit. Will you? Well said, Aaron. Well said, exactly. And that's and that's folks, and that's the thing. That is someone, those are the heroes, someone that's focused and determined. I am not giving up. I am just gonna focus on one thing besides my main job that is helping me pay my bills. As far as the side hustle, or if this is your main hustle, focus on one thing. Because again, as Aaron said, I did it for many years. And one of the reasons I didn't have success because I was focused on more than one thing at a time. Be all in with this. This is the business you want to be in because whether we like it or not, whether we're on this rocket ship or not, this baby is taken off. The CBD industry is taken off and you want to be on this thing right now. Don't give up. You will not regret it. But six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, you will not regret it. And, and, and you know what? Eric, one of the things that I really learned here in, in this uh, network marketing industry here at HempWorks was that I come to realize that this is really a one to three year game plan. This is a one to three year game plan, okay? So really probably more realistically closer to three years, right? But minimum one year. I mean, you're coming up on a year in May, I'll be a year in June. And uh, Ron is about a year as well, coming up in May, June as well. You know, so the same thing, you know, look at us we're in there we're in the trenches we're helping our people it's hard work but it's good work it's rewarding work because when you do that when you come in and there's nothing there's no better feeling aaron there's no better feeling than seeing people get their first paycheck right seeing people hit their first rank advance you know and then teaching them to do that to their people because they get the excitement it just catches fire from there but it happens when you start to say i'm all in i'm focused i this is do or die I am on this rocket ship with you guys, no matter what happens. Back to you, Aaron. Thank you so I much. I love it. I love it. Who's all in? Drop some comments. Who's all in? And I had to mention this because these two guys, they're all in. They're focused. When I see people who are struggling to either get to 5K or struggling to get to the leadership ranks of 25K and 50K, in many cases, not all, but in some cases, it's because they're distracted. They're not laser focused. Ron, my friend, the wisdom one of 40 years in the industry. What are your thoughts on this topic? I forgot the topic. Oh, um, I have my brain spray today, so I'm, I'm on it. Um, here's what I'll tell you. You know, there's the old saying, Jack of all trades, a master of none. And that's what happens with people. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
in network marketing, the biggest key involved with building a legacy and anybody that's, you know, I, I grew up with the, the Bill Brits and Dexter Yeagers of the world, the multi, multi millionaires. And one thing that the Amway people taught me very, very clearly was you're building a community. And if you look at the, the people that the, the Walmarts and started, you know, Kmarts and started McDonald's and all of these places, they weren't doing side hustles. They weren't, they were focused totally on one thing. Now, once they started making a bunch of money, did they take their money and invest it in other things with, and let that go? Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong. That's not a side hustle. That's, that's just taking your money and, and, and making it work for you. Um, but you're building a community, you're building a culture. And you can't, it's, it would be to me, it's like people that, you know, would a, would a, a Jewish rabbi be a Baptist preacher too? Probably not, right? It'd be hard. Two different communities, right? So for you to want to do maybe, oh, I've heard people say, well, but Ron, you know, if you, if you, you can join my business, it's, it's, not, it's not in competition with what you're doing because they don't understand it absolutely is. Network marketing is a community. I'm building a community that happens to have a product that is amazing, but it's the community and the culture that we're building. And if you try to split that and, and do other things, you're going to be good at very little. Okay. So for me, the answer is very, very clear. And, and I don't, I, I, I just, and, and Carlos, I, I, I know we use this all the time too, but side hustle, you know, to me, there's no such thing as a side hustle. It's a side focus. Okay. Because hustlers are hustlers. But we have a side focus. And that focus that you have when you get up in the morning, it's the thing that drives you. Even if you've got a, a job, a full time job. I know when I was working a full time job and I got passionate and focused in a network marketing business, the job became the side hustle. My network marketing business became my primary focus. And if you can't focus at what you're doing and you can't stay committed and consistent at what you're doing because you're so, you know, and, and Robert Hollis and I talk about this all the time, that squirrel syndrome, right? There are people you see, a list of people in the dictionary when it says squirrel because every shiny object that comes along, their, their focus is, is taken away and all of a sudden, three weeks down the road, they're going, Ron, Aaron, Carlos, why isn't this working for me? Well, you know, how much of the process did you do this week? Well, yeah, but I saw this thing, man. You got to check it out. You got to check it out. I can make money on both sides. I can do all these other things. So, so how much money are you making so far And even one of them? Right? The proof is in the pudding. So you've got to, if you're creating a culture and a community and everything else, and you look at the people that have had the, the millions of dollars of success in our lives, in our businesses, in, in, in conventional businesses, Every single one of them will tell you, we stayed focused, we stayed true to the course, we stayed committed to what we were doing until we reached the goal, we re had the success we were going to have. We didn't let anything sway us either way. So I hope that helps everybody. I love it. Thank you, gentlemen. Man, incredible value. All right, so this is interesting. I'm looking over at YouTube, and we actually had, believe it or not, this is good. This is I'm going to actually do this because I want people to realize that not everyone is going to to like what you do. We're doing this right here, providing value. Everyone's loving it. The comments are blowing up. And it just cracks me up because even in all of that, look at this. Can you guys see this? Somebody gave us a thumbs down <laughs> on the video. So, you know, and you guys, you just have to laugh. You just have to laugh because no matter how hard you work, no matter how many people you help, there's always going to be somebody who's going to try to, you know, bring you down. And But look at how many people like it. And if you haven't hit thumbs up yet on this video, go ahead, do it now. Hit thumbs up. Give us a like. Uh, but I just want to show you that because this is going to be something you are going to have to deal with and learn from. And it's going to happen in your business that no matter how hard you work, no matter how much success you have, there's still going to be people who are going to be hating and they're going to be out there trying to bring you down. You just have to be ready for it. Have thick skin and know that you are changing lives. Just like 
Carlos said, and just stay focused, stay the course, and keep helping people. Um, all right, I got a couple of really important questions for you guys. But for anyone watching who's going to have questions for these two amazing gentlemen, here's how it's going to work. Two things. First of all, our power team, um, we have a rule. I know these guys have agreed to it, even though they don't like it, because they want to help everyone. The rule is simple. You can't private message them and ask them questions. Because imagine if 2,000 people all started messaging Ron and Carlos. Hey, help me with this. Hey, help me with this. It's not going to work. It's not fair to them. So what we have to do is, one, if you're here live, you can ask questions in the chat. If you are in our power team group, you can come over here. Everybody watch this. Here's where our post is. It says, we are live. It says leadership spotlight with 50K Ron Deering, 25K Carlos. This is the post. If you have any questions for Ron or Carlos, this is where you post them. <clears throat> you can simply go to the comments. You can tag them, post your questions here. And this way they can help you and they can help everyone on the power team at the same time. So that's how that's going to work. And my next question for both of you has to do with this picture. Look at this picture. We have Ron right here. We have Carlos right here. Linda, I don't know if you can see this. Linda's trying to steal Carlos's trophy right there, which is really cute. She's like, oh my gosh, what is that? It's shiny. I want to I wanna hold it. Give it to me. <clears throat> so um, let's see. Ron, Deering, my friend, you're going to go first. Talk to everyone quickly about your experience at convention and why, under no circumstances, should people miss the upcoming convention, which is only seven months away. It's going to be here before we know it. We're going to have hundreds and hundreds of people from the power team at convention. We're going to be celebrating. It's going to be absolutely priceless for your business. But I want you to hear from Ron. Ron, take it away, my friend. Well, to me, that's easy. It's my birthday month, and everybody should be there to celebrate with me. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, you'll hear this. You'll hear this uh, so many times. Um, everybody that goes to convention doesn't become 100K affiliates, doesn't become super affiliates. But if you talk to every super affiliate, they go to all the conventions. So you need to understand that distinction. Just because you go to convention doesn't mean you're going to be a super affiliate. But you won't talk to 100K affiliate, 150K affiliate, 125K affiliate, one super affiliate that doesn't go to conventions. And why is that? Well, for us, you know, our last convention, our first convention with this company was October of last year. I, get, I got to meet Aaron and Kathy for the first time in our lives, right? I got to meet my brother in the Lord and one of my best friends in the world, Mr. Carlos Martinez. We got to meet 60 of our closest friends. We had an amazing time because I got to meet Sonia Line. In fact, because of my meeting of Sonia Line, we did a, a live together and, and her and I talked about her story. Robert Hollis for the first time. He and I have known each other for a little while, but we got to meet for, I mean, so the camaraderie that you get by going to the convention is one thing. But it helps you take what you have up here and take it down to here. It helps you make that, that transition to being a, a, a logical business to a heartfelt business. What you're going to learn at the convention is not only a lot of facts and a lot of understanding about the business and a lot of you know, new things that are going to be introduced at the business, but you're going to learn the heart and soul of what this company is. But you can't learn anyplace else. So you can't learn through videos. You're going to learn. You're going to be able to meet the, the, the Josh and the Jenna. You're going to be able to meet us. You're going to be able to meet some of the amazing leaders that haven't even come on the scene yet that are going to be there. You're going to be able to have a, an experience that is unparalleled in your business up to this point. If you don't make a decision to not only be there, but to be there with as many people as you can bring with you. That's the most important thing. How many people on your team are going to be there? We're shooting for three or 400 people on our team. Our team, I just looked at the numbers. We're at 1,500 people on the Daring Dream team right now. Can I get three or 400? I should be able to get four or 500 people there in October, right? Can you imagine what that's going to do for your business? If you just came on board, 
just now, this month, in February, and you go to Vegas in October with 20 people on your team. I guarantee you it's going to change your business. When we got back from the convention in October, November was my biggest month. I hit, I hit 25K affiliate the last day of October. November, I almost hit 50K affiliate. December was our biggest month in 2018 when everybody else was, as, as Aaron said, taking their foot off of the pedal. We put our foot down to the metal and hit our biggest month. Why? Because of the power and of the enthusiasm that was coming out of the convention. And then January, it even got bigger. We hit 50K and we're going to hit 50K again this month. So if you're not going, is everybody going to have that same story? No, but you're going to have a story. Guess what? Michael Jordan said one thing that very impressed me over the lives. I miss 100% of the shots I don't take. So you can't have the story about the convention unless you go. If you don't go, you're not going to experience it, whether you, you bring a force of one or you bring a force of a thousand. If you don't go, you can't experience it. You're not going to have the story. You're not going to experience what we had. So I hope that gets you excited, blown away, because it was an amazing time. Yes, Ron, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, guys, comment. Drop some comments if you're going to be in Vegas. I see Tina has already got her airfare set aside. Um, no matter what, she's going to be in Vegas in October. Love it. Let's see. Who else? Uh, James and Meredith. We got to meet James and Meredith, 5K leaders on the Deering Dream team. Amazing convention. Can't wait to the next one. Aaron, Ron, Carlos, love meeting everyone. Um, it was epic. Um, let's see. We got to meet. By the, by the way, Aaron. Yes. One more thing. Carlos and I both have our tickets for the convention already. Yes. Yes. So do I. Kathy and I have our tickets. Guys, if you want your team to be there and you want your business to explode just like Ron's did, it's really not hard. It's this. Success leaves clues. That Ron brought his team to the convention. And what do you know? Boom. His business exploded. How do you get your team to convention? I'll tell you how. You ready? You go buy your ticket. And when you get your ticket, you go tell everyone on your team that you got your ticket and that they can't miss it and they need to get their ticket. And then every new affiliate that joins your team, one of the first things you do after they sign up is tell them you got your ticket and, and you're going to be there and they can't miss it. Here's the, here's the crazy part. When we were going for a convention last year in October, we had just joined not long before that. We didn't have much time and the tickets actually sold out. So we were having to buy tickets from people who had bought tickets who couldn't make it. They sold out. <clears throat> it could happen again this year, even with a massive room at the Mirage with eight to 10,000 people, it could still sell out. You don't want to wait to the last minute. So get your ticket as soon as possible. Log into your back office. You can figure out the travel plans later. But don't miss it. I see you guys. So many of you guys have commented. I can't wait to see you in person. Um, Mr. Martinez, would love to hear your thoughts on convention and anything you'd like to add on this topic. Absolutely. And I'll keep it really brief. Uh, Aaron, as you know, I, I stated earlier, um, I've been a part of 15 different network marketing companies. The 14 before, I didn't go to convention at one time. Not a single one. Definitely, definitely played a huge role as to why I haven't had success. Now, when I went to convention in October for my Daily Choice Hemp Works, this is my first convention ever, okay? I went there as a 10K, but I can tell you now being a 25K that I would not be a 25K today had I not gone to convention. Simple as that. You know, it's as simple as that, you know, and, and you know, the energy... Everything that you get from there is just amazing. Meeting Aaron and Kathy and, you know, uh, my, the, my brazen brother, you know, Ron Deering, all of you guys, you know, James and Meredith and Don and Lily, meeting everybody live in person. There's just nothing like it. But, you know, the most special part is when you get people that you didn't even know, right? You didn't even know that want to meet you and take a picture with you, right, because of how you impacted their life because of something that you said in a post, some video that you did that really, you know what, because of you, because of what you said, I didn't quit. 
because of you, I tried that CBD oil and I wouldn't be here today. You know, I'd still be suffering from whatever, whatever, if I weren't on CBD oil. Because that's what it's about. It's really about touching people's lives. And there's not, no, no place better to see the impact that has been done with this amazing company and the things that, that we do as a community than going live at convention. But I can tell you, like I said, I'll finish it off with this. I would not be 25K today had I not been at convention. Simple as that. I love it. I love it. Success leaves clues. Don't miss it. We'll see you there. All right. So this one uh, question, Carlos, I'm going to go over to you first is, you know, you, you've gone through a lot, right? You've been here for quite a bit. You didn't just hit 5K. Listen, you could go 5K affiliate with, I mean, really it can be done. It has been done without a team. You could just sponsor your way to 5K. You, you, it's really hard to sponsor your way to 10K, but it's possible. You really have to develop a team to get to um, uh, to get to to get to 10K. But 25K, no way. You, you are in a leadership position. You've got duplication. Things are happening. You're growing the team successfully. 25K is a really big deal. So what I want you to share, Carlos, is what has been one of the challenges what is something that you faced in this journey so far that was like you got frustrated something didn't happen the way you wanted things weren't moving the way that you wanted because this challenge this you know this roadblock that you thought maybe was is something that everyone watching may encounter and what was it and how did you overcome it how did you get through it to get to the other side yeah, awesome, Aaron. So that's a great question. And, and you know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I hit the 10K rank within my first 17 days. So this is June. So June 27th, 2018, I'm at 10K. But I couldn't advance to 25K. I was stuck there for like six or seven months. And like, man, why can't, you know, and it was, you know, the first couple of months was fine. Then the third month, I'm like, wow, why can't I get out of this? And I was, you know, and, and recruiting is important, but I was more focused on recruiting than really helping the team. And it wasn't until like, wait a second, you know, I've really got to focus on my team. So I, I didn't stop my recruiting efforts. I was still trying to sponsor as many people as I possibly could, trying to get my four, right? Trying to get my four every single month. That's always a goal, minimum goal, trying to get my four every month. But I spent a lot of extra time with the team and my team's team, right? So I didn't just stop at my first level, you know, so if I sponsored Don, right, I didn't just stop and work with Don. I'm like, okay, Don, let's work with your team, right? I'd work with Mike Gajewski and I work with who Mike, Mike Gajewski sponsored. So I was working as deep as I, as deep as I can, right? Trying to get them plugged into the system to be consistent because that's really what changed the game. And all of a sudden, you know, I went from, I'm, I'm at 15,000 in volume. 18,000. I'm like, oh, I crossed 20,000 in volume, man. This is it. You can taste it, right? And I, the more I dug in, the more I worked deeper and deeper with the team, not just at the first level, okay? And celebrated the small wins, right? Someone got their first lead. Man, yeah, awesome. Celebrate that and let everybody know about it. Someone got their first customer, their first sign up. You celebrate every single small win because when you do that, that works on their mentality. That works on their mindset. And they're like, wow, this is good. I'm actually accomplishing something, right? The more more I did that, the more people my people succeeded. Okay, and that is the key. Don't just work with your, your with your direct team. Start working deep and work with the rest of the team, and that's really made the difference for me. I love that, Carlos. I want everyone to really catch what happened there. He hit 10k his first month, which, by the way, wow, huge deal, right? You know, he brought in a lot of people, had a huge success fast. But then what happened? Six months, right? It was six months. Six months at 10k. And so what happens to some people, that's called a plateau, possibly. It's called, you know, a point in your business where things aren't progressing as fast as you want because you think, oh, I'm only a 10K. Or maybe you might, oh, I'm only a 5K. I've been 5K for so long. Or, or maybe it's been six months and I'm still not 5K. Whatever it is for you, guess what? That is the point when you have to look at yourself, dig deep, and just press forward. And Carlos did that. And look what happened. You know, it's it's been said, I don't know exactly how it's verbalized, but the people who quit in many cases don't even realize how close they are to their breakthrough. They don't even realize it. And so when things get the toughest, when you think you're going through the biggest challenge, that's the point of decision. 
when you dig deep and you push even harder to have that breakthrough just like Carlos did. So I love that, Carlos. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ron Deering, challenge, a frustration point, something that, you know, it could be from your first week in business or from last week. When was something you went through that was a struggle or a challenge that you can prepare others for when they may encounter the same thing? Waking up. <laughs> you know, we laugh about that, but for those of you who know my situation, uh, two years in June ago, um, I had to have open heart surgery. And then three months after my open heart surgery, it was quadruple bypass. And two of the bypass grafts totally failed and I had a heart attack and had to have stints put in and so forth. So when I actually was introduced to this uh, in May, I think it was the second week of May, just after Aaron got involved, um, I wasn't te typ technically, I wasn't really looking for something because I was still trying to stay alive. And so in my mind and in my heart, um, I had a, a lot of reasons and a lot of excuses I could have made. A lot of things that, you know, hey, medication is bad. You know, one makes me tired. One makes my joints ache and deteriorates my muscles and all of these things that I, that I could have gone through. And when I saw that, so my first couple of weeks in May to end the month, I think I only brought in like eight people in May. And they were people that I'd reached out, you know, and said, hey, get in you know let's let's do this you know maybe a couple of executives and a couple of builders and you know but i i did it fast and you know i, I saw the potential and so forth and I, I didn't even have the the product at that point until the end of may and when i got the product and started taking it and found out what it did to my wife who just had rotator cuff surgery and all of the things that were the benefits of this and saw how many people we could you know really impact I got outside of myself. I got away from me and all of the excuses I could have and put myself in a position of now, now it's, it's not about me and what I'm going to do and the success I'm going to have. It's, 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 it's all now about how many lives can I impact? It's, it's about how can I help the team that I'm building? And I went through that same phase with like Carlos, where I hit 10K very quick, two days after he hit it. And I actually closed the month of June when I really first said, I'm going to do this business and with total abandonment, 100 people a day I was reaching out to, I was just going crazy. And um, I'm like, Aaron, I've got 5,000 friends I've got to keep getting rid of. I've got close to 200 friend requests right now that I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with, right? And, and all kinds of followers. But I ended the month at 24,000, almost at 25K. And I started staying there and I was helping people and I was doing this and I was, I don't know that I was getting frustrated, but I was getting antsy because I had this one guy on my team, you might've heard of him, Carlos Martinez, that kept maxing me out. And so I was, even though I was ending the months at 25,000 and more, I wasn't getting promoted. And I had to start doing exactly what Carlos said, even more so. I had to start reaching out to my superstars like Lily and Troy and and Tony and 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 David and and the list, Jason and the list goes on and on and on, right? Of all of these superstars and working with their team and even myself out. Well, as soon as I did that, I went from okay, now have I not only gone past 25k, I hit 25k in October, and boom, three months later, I hit 50k, and now we're looking at three months later hitting 100k. But bec it, it was because I didn't let any of that change as far as my commitment, my consistency in what I was doing, and I kept uh, the focus off of me. Too many people put the focus on themselves and that's when they get sidetracked. And that's when they get to, the, they end up with these, you know, what, and Aaron kind of called it, it's, it's a plateau, but it's really not a plateau. It's just part of business. You know, and, and, and being a, and I'm gonna leave you with this real quickly. I'm a pilot. And one, one of the first things I learned in, when I became a pilot back in 1975 was that you're always taking measurements along the way. If you just point your, and I got it in Key West, and I was, one of my um, cross country was, was to Miami. And I just pointed the plane. And if I had just pointed the plane in the direction of Miami and kept flying, I would have ended up in Pensacola. 
because you've got things like wind and weather and all these other things that you've got to keep taking readings along the way. And if you don't and you don't adjust, and that's why we track, because what you track, you can change. What you track, you can modify. What you track, you can make better. And if you don't do those things, you can't. Well, in this business, I don't know about Aaron, but I know myself. I'm looking at my back office. Some people say, well, you don't need to look at your back office. Don't worry about all your stuff. That's nonsense. I need to track. So I'm looking at my back office every single day, seeing where people are, seeing where I can help people, seeing where who people who haven't who hasn't ordered but really want to build up all of these things. I'm in my back office every single day. So those are the things that I would tell you. I love it, Ron. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we do we we do some advanced leadership training for people on the power team. We have our 5K mastermind group. We're actually doing a 5K mastermind training tonight on Zoom. Um, and so if you're not part of that, jump in the power team group, get the details. We also have elite leadership trainings with our five K's and above. And so there's different levels and layers of leadership. And part of it, Ron hit on was tracking your business. And we, we talk about that and how we do that. And we want to be able to teach you how to do that as well. in some of these advanced trainings that we do. So guys, we're going to close this out. We, we hit an hour. This is obviously longer than normal, but we got the combo here. So we wanted to take a little bit longer today. Um, here's the last question. We're going to close this out. Ron, for everyone, wait, hold on. There was one more thing. I heard you say something, Ron. I have to mention this. You said, you just kind of, you know, whoop, you just kind of said it. And I was like, wait, wait, I got to mention this. Ron mentioned a second ago. Did you guys catch this? When he got started, he sponsored eight people, right? Your first like three weeks, two, two weeks in the business, sponsored eight people. Was it eight? And he said, I just told them to get in. Did you guys catch that? So for those of you that are watching and you're new, you're brand new, maybe you signed up no one, maybe you signed up one or two people. This is something that I did, Ron's done it, I'm sure Carlos has done it. You have a group of people that know you, that like you, that trust you, that you can reach out to and you know, basically, like listen, you gotta do this type of thing. Like you've got to look at this, you've gotta do this, you know me, get in, you know, watch this video, watch the presentation, just get, you got, you don't want to miss this. So maybe you have eight people you could do that with like Ron, maybe it's three or four, but I promise that every one of you watching, you've got a group of people that you could just bring in because they trust you because they want to work with you. So if you haven't gone to those people yet, make sure you do that. That's one of the first things. And I also caught this. He enrolled those eight people before he even got his product. So I have some people that want to wait till they get their product, which is fine. You can do that if you want. But why delay your success? Like, just get started. Go. Go bring in some people quickly. Get some quick results. Earn some commissions. Get excited. But then what happened is once Ron did get the products and he really dug deep to realize, wow, this is this is life-changing stuff here. Then he really went bonkers, right? He was messaging a hundred people a day and all that kind of stuff. And we have all those scripts and all that stuff that we do in the power team group for all of you in the files. So I just wanted to mention that you've got that group of people you can go after right away, bring them in even before you get your product. So with that being said, here's the closing question for both of you. Ron, we'll jump over to you first. And that is this, what is your piece? And, and I know we've already gone through a lot of this, but if there is one more thing in closing, a, a tip, a strategy, a piece of advice, what is that thing that you can share with everyone watching right now? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you this has been with me for a long time. and I'm going to share it very, very quickly. But if you've seen any of my lives and any of my trainings, it's, it's redundant because it's the same thing and it, it, it will always be the same thing. There are four things that I always tell everybody that I bring on that they need to do. Okay. To build their business and to have success. One is they need to make a decision. We all talk about a decision. It's not the decision 
to build the business, they need to make a decision to do the business despite and until, and we talked about a little bit about that beforehand, despite any of the ups and downs, despite any of the excuses, despite any of the shiny objects, despite any of the squirrel syndromes, despite any of the, oh, wow, it took too long for it to ship, or it didn't get here and I had to send it back because it was broken the process, whatever it might be, despite any of those things, until you have the success that you know you should have. You know, it, it drives me crazy when people put a time limit on their success. I'm going to do this for three months. I'm going to try this out for, you know, don't waste your time. You know, there's no tries. Yoda says, right? There's no try. Just do. Just do. So get that out of your vocabulary. Make some pasties. There's not pasties. So um, stick them. Stick it notes, right? You know, yeah, there you go. I have decided and despite and until. Okay, that's number one. The second thing you need to do is you need to get a mentor. When I say you need to get a mentor, you need to find someone that's gone before you and done what you want to do, knows how to teach other people to have that same success, and is documented. You know, so I can go and I can talk to Aaron, and if Aaron says, yeah, my mentor was Robert Hollis or, you know, Johnny Depp or whoever it might be, and he and that person taught, then I'm going to look for that person because I know that they've got documentation that they've done that, okay? So that's number two. Number three is you need to learn to follow instructions. You know, one of the things that when I had my open heart surgery, the cardiac surgeon came in and said and told me what had gone, I'd gone through and everything. And I said, well, when can I get out of here? And this was on a Wednesday. And he said, well, you can get out of here Monday. And, and funny enough, the next words out of his mouth were, if you follow instructions. Well, being kind of the A-type personality, the I am, I asked what the instructions were, and you need to get up and walk. Four times a day I was walking. I was just, I mean, a walk. the nurses had some comment they used to make. They called me Superman or something. He came in on Saturday and said, I don't know what you've been doing, but we're letting you go home now. Three and a half days after my surgery. It was a record for them because I followed instructions. And the last thing, number four is practice, practice, practice. So you need to make a decision. You need to find a mentor. You need to follow the mentor's instructions. And then you need to practice, practice, practice. If I could pass on four things to you that have helped me become successful and have helped so many other people become successful, that's what I would pass on to you. I love it, Ron. Thank you, sir. Incredible, incredible value. Mr. Carlos Martinez, same All question. Right. Awesome, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you. How, how do you follow that? You know, he, he touched on all the good points. And Aaron, really, it comes down to what you just showed, right? You got to make a decision. You got to make a decision to just be all in, right? Because is, is, is the struggle real? Yes, it's it's it, the life of an entrepreneur is tough, but anything that you do is tough, right? I mean, people, it's funny, people go to a corporate job and hope hope to get a promotion and they'll, they'll yeah, <laughs> if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Exactly, exactly, Aaron, exactly. So folks, you know, so here's the thing. Decide, make a decision, whatever it is, whatever is that motivating you, m just make the decision, be all in, Okay, follow the simple duplicatable system. You know, uh, I always tell people, you know, go to your page and look at the Facebook mirror. Look at the Facebook mirror. Look at what you're posting and ask yourself this question, the honest question. Would you join you? Right. Would you follow you? If you wouldn't follow you and you wouldn't join you, what makes other people you think other people would join you and follow? You? So then guess what you do? Then you go to your Aaron Parkers, your Robert Hollis, your Ron Deering, you know, your Ted Sims, your James and Merritt, Lily Romero. Follow with what I'm doing, you know, what I'm doing. Follow what they're doing and just duplicate it and be consistent with it every single day. Whatever time that you can dedicate to your business, I mean, hopefully you're all in and you know you're gonna you're working this thing seriously. But if all you can dedicate because you have a full-time job somewhere, all you can dedicate is an hour to it. Be dedicated in that hour. Be all in. Be focused in that hour, okay? And then make it as productive as you can. And don't just focus on busy work. I know a lot of people, they're busy all day long commenting on stuff and just doing stuff, but doing do, doing very little income-producing activities. Just follow the simple duplicatable system. And you should, you know, if you're not, if you're not reaching out, here's the thing. At the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, how many different people did I talk to about this business, right? If you're not reaching out, if, you know, if you got into like, well, how come no one, how come I got no pre-enrollees? Well, how many people did you talk to? 
all right that i reach out to on facebook that i message that i you know i'm at the supermarket whatever the case may be right if you're all in you are committed to this business you're passionate about the product you're precious passionate about the vision that this company has and that you have for your life okay then you're going to talk to everybody about this business and you should make it a point to talk to a minimum of 25 people per day new people per day and follow up with them right and keep it simple that's the other thing keep it simple lead with something like for example that that five minute video right with, with uh, and that news clip right keep it simple let the video do the talking don't throw up on the people like oh we got the best comp plan oh we got the best this we got the no let the video do the talking and then just ask them, right? Do you see yourself as a customer or do you yourself as a, or, or running a business or both? And if it's not you, can you introduce me to somebody? Simple. Keep it simple. Talk, say as little as possible to as many people per day, at least 25 people per day, new people per day, every single day. And if you do that consistently, imagine that you do 25 people per day, right? Can you imagine what you've done over five days, 30 days, so on and so forth? Your business will explode. I promise you that. Be consistent and don't give up. With that, I'll give it back to you. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so much. Wow, wow, wow. Tremendous. Again, congratulations to both Ron and Carlos. I am so grateful. I am so grateful to be able to work with these two incredible gentlemen, these incredible servant leaders who are all in. They're laser focused. They're in the trenches. They're helping their team. And I'm just so grateful to be able to work with these two amazing individuals. And for everyone who's watching, if you got some value, drop a comment, hit like, and be sure to share this video with everyone on your team. Save this video, get it out to your team so they can learn from these two incredible leaders as well because they are just getting started. They're going to the top. And remember, if we can do it, you can do it. We all started where you are and you can be where we are. We're on this journey together. We're excited to be on this journey with you. And we can't wait to celebrate with you in Vegas. We'll see you there. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Ron. Bye, you guys. Love you guys. Bye.